The final week of the regular season is here for Class 1A, and we've got a surprising move inside of our top five that you're going to want to hang on and and take a look at one that might shock you. We did, we haven't had a had not, we have not had a loss inside the top five this week, but we've got some movement that our ranker uh, decided to, to 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 make a change. So um, be sure to tune into that. But before we get there, we are going to hop in to 16 through 11 in class 1A AHSTW. They've been hopping in and out of our rankings all year. They beat Red Oak last week, 56 to 12, to hop back in at number 16. Also hopping back in is Columbus Catholic. They beat East Marshall 50 to nothing. And another team that is hopping back in, Trainer, just one loss for them on the year. They beat Shenandoah last week 40 to 9. Their one loss, notably coming to a very, very good Underwood team. At number 13, Denver, <clears throat> they suffered a loss to a, a top team in MFL Marmac 28 to 7. OABCAG snuck by Hinton 12 to 6. They move up a spot to, to number 12. And at number 11, South Hamilton, a really, really good win for them, beating Woodward Granger 50 to nothing. Woodward Granger had been had been scoring a lot of points the last few weeks. Uh, they, they've been red hot, and, and South Hamilton went and, and shut them down. So a really good win for South Hamilton right there. They hang on to number 11. Uh, let's get into your top 10, though, really quickly. Uh, at number 10, Regina, Regina Catholic. They moved down a spot. Quarterback Gentry Dumont could just do no wrong. Nine for 11 for four, t- for four touchdowns. In a 48 to 21 win over Beckman Catholic. <clears throat> at number nine, Pella Christian. Their previous loss to Sigourney Kyoto doesn't look as bad now, but a 43 to nothing win also helps keep the Eagles in the top 10. And at number eight, West Branch, yet another quality loss. The Bears are now four and three, but there's still plenty of faith left for this top tier defense um, as they suffered a loss to undefeated Wilton. Wilton, your team of the week in class 1A, as you can see them at the number six spot. Uh, they made a big jump. And, and rightfully so, they get a nice win against West Branch. At number seven, Dyke New Hartford. The Wolverines bounce back after uh, the Marmac loss with a 41-8 win over Applington Parkersburg behind a top defensive performance from defensive lineman Zachary Adelmund. <clears throat> Again, Dyke New Hartford, one of the best defenses in the entire class and and a team that's that their record really doesn't show how good they are. They have a lot of quality losses, as we're calling them. Um, no quality losses for Wilton there, though. They are undefeated, 7-0. As I said, the team of the week in Class 1A, the Beavers have rightfully risen the ranks four weeks in a row after a 21-17 comeback win over West Branch. Again, West Branch was really coming off an emotional and, and emotional win over Regina Catholic. Um, so really, uh, you know, I don't know if they caught him off guard, but Wilton has proven to be a really good team. And Really, the 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 surprise team in Class One A. It feels like each class has one of those teams, uh, and in Class One A, it is Wilton. They have uh, come out of nowhere, undefeated, and they've got Regina Catholic uh, in their final week, which is going to be a ton of fun. That one's going to be uh, that one's going to be deciding a lot in terms of a, a postseason race. Um, but nevertheless, let's get into your top five, where you're going to see some big movement. We've got a new number one. Yes, Grundy Center. Uh, I wouldn't say Grundy Center did anything to lose the number one spot. It was more about Underwood just continually showing why they deserve to be the number one team. So a ranker decided to make the move. Underwood, your new number one team. Before we talk about that, though, let's talk about the other ones. Sigourney Kyoto, their first time in the IA football top five polls, 82 to nothing win over any team is a crazy accomplishment. They hadn't scored more than 19 points in a month, but this, they, their often showed out. Next level off, uh, next level performance for Sierra and Kyoto as they hop into our top five. At number four, MFL Marmac, a 28-7 win over Denver, gives the Bulldogs one of the most impressive resumes so far. MFL Marmac uh, has consistently been in our top five, and they've had a tough schedule, and they've really um, <clears throat> tested themselves this thus far in the regular season. At number three, Sumner Fredericksburg, Jackson Willems made a push, made a splash with 200 yards and two touchdowns on just nine carries and a 47 to nothing win. Over Central Springs, Sumner Fredericksburg, uh, just coming off a win over Denver, so they, they they're proving themselves as well as kind of a top team. But really, I think many would say that the tier list kind of ends there. These top two teams are kind of proven to be on another level at this point this year, and it's Grundy Center, it's Underwood again. Really, you can make a case either of them could be number one right now. Though our ranker believes Underwood is the number one team in Class One A. Grundy Center, though, at number two, still an elite defense with a 35 to nothing win over Albert Quarterback Colin Gordon also had perhaps his best game in the entire season. So Grundy Center still clicking on all levels. Uh, but Underwood, the Eagles make the move to the top after a 63 to nothing win over Albert This is their fourth shutout in five weeks. And notably last week, 
they did the same thing to an undefeated trainer squad. So Underwood uh, has has proven to to earn this top spot. And really, at this point in, in the year in Class 1A, it, it's really looking like Underwood and Grundy Center on a crash course to meet at in the state championship game. So uh, Class 1A is going to be a ton of fun to see if anyone can really knock either of those teams off. But right now, I think it's safe to say those two teams are on a different level. And I'm excited to see where this class ends up going. But that's all we got for Class 1A this week. We're going to have playoff stuff, playoff content, I should say, coming your way once brackets come out. It's going to be a ton of fun. Like I said, it's always madness once the postseason begins. A ton of teams at the bottom of the top 10, bottom of the top 16 that I could see making a run at this. So uh, be sure to stay tuned because if you're a Class 1A fan, uh, we're, we're going to have coverage coming your way like like no one else does. So uh, excited to bring that to you guys. So be sure to subscribe to IA Sports on YouTube. And, and we'll catch you next time, Class 1A fans.